how do you measure spiritual growth? Uh, there is no classes, there is no certificate to validate uh, what you have uh, accomplished and your spiritual growth uh, is something uh, that you have to work through by uh, discovering you. It's never about being discovered, it's about discovering self and the depth of your making uh, and your uh, a level of connection to the source God your higher self uh, spiritual uh, depth the spiritual growth uh, we can sort of understand by uh, taking an inventory into our own self see how you look at uh, our external world when we uh, th talk about People have all sorts of uh, issues they have to work through. When you see someone uh, struggling with the substance abuse or uh, the obesity or uh, poverty, um, we are immediately accustomed to judge and put them in a category. But a spiritually mature person knows that is uh, every expression is also part of you uh, unhealed or healed part of your uh, expression but you are uh, looking at them as uh, a little bit more compassionate non-judgmental um, level of kindness and you see the uh, their self journey uh, little bit uh, depth uh, instead of what is uh, presented to you uh, instead of seeing their beauty uh, their strength and the courage uh, you are uh, immediately drawn to the all the things that is wrong with them but it is uh, a lifetime of a journey and a lifetime of uh, enduring enormous level of uh, self um, the stress and uh, struggles uh, these are all expressions uh, what we see uh, in our external environment mm. when you are looking at yourself how you perceive everything you're a little bit non-judgmental you're a little bit more compassionate you can see something beyond what is uh, uh, what is right in front of your eyes uh, because they have gone through some things um, this is how we measure our uh, self um, spiritual progress, our self improvement, because we are um, we are understanding of level of depth. Uh, this is the maturity, and this is the growth. Uh, it is important for us to pay attention because we've all been there. We are all. Uh, critical of ourselves we're critical of external world but um, with the maturity you become a little bit less a uh, little bit less uh, judgmental about these expressions uh, you see them uh, as courageous you see how far they have come and you're a sort of nurturing these parts of others but you're nurturing your own uh, soul's growth uh, this is how we become less critical of ourselves we become healthy a uh, healthier version of ourselves we have a stronger boundaries we are not uh, shy to speak up about things that is important to you your a uh, lot more uh, kinder to yourself. Uh, this is how we measure the spiritual growth. Now, adding value to others around you is also uh, coming into sort of a neutral territory uh, of existence. Uh, when you're adding value to others, uh, even if there is, um, uh, it's hard to do, uh, because of uh, our conditioning, our programming, uh, because of our fear, uh, we really don't want to start with the kindness and compassion. This is the normal uh, 
primal instincts but uh, when we know that we are uh, we are looking uh, for the best in everyone because even with all the programming even with all the misleading uh, you know inaccurate history everything there is to uh, misguide you and distract you from your true soul's progression um, you start off with kindness and compassion and uh, you are trying to add value to somebody uh, with these uh, kind of uh, a neutral emotional uh, stable foundation kindness never really is weakness even though this is what we were taught uh, when you're kind people are going to walk all over you and it's not the best place to be but it is the most powerful place to be uh, because um, adding value to someone uh, else's life is uh, giving them hope uh, even midst of uh, extreme darkness extreme hostility extreme anger and resentment when you're uh, giving adding value to someone else's life um, you're giving them hope you're planting that seed of hope uh, it doesn't happen overnight when you work on your own uh, struggles uh, you, it becomes easy it becomes a lifestyle uh, you are start off with the a bit of kindness and compassion. It could be the only thing these people ever felt. Uh, you never know their struggles, but it doesn't really matter. It is irrelevant because you have gone through uh, some things in your life and you have a, um, a level of nurturing that is providing another person uh, with hopefulness. Uh, this is what adding value to another uh, is uh, all about this is the maturity of this our soul's progression and our spiritual uh, improvement um, when we think about how we behave towards other people uh, when we're causing stress to another it is a very low low vibrational unhopeful um, a traumatic experience so this is going into a, a parasitic unrefined primal uh, parts of ourselves uh, but could be that um, because the attachment of karma could be that someone else is pay, uh, paying off their karmic debt but uh, by uh, by another when you're creating this uh, negative uh, hostile environment for another you're creating you're liberating someone else from their karmic uh, lessons and obligations but uh, it doesn't prevent you from creating your own karma because uh, uh, you are highlighted that negative primal unrefined uh, parts of yourself so then it becomes something that you need to work on um, in the future uh, because of the energetic output because it's not pleasant it's not um, kind it's not gentle it's not adding value to somebody else's life uh, because you um, created this uh, toxic environment for others and while doing so you have created karmic obligations for yourself um, because when we are not, uh, especially the divine feminine, uh, you're, uh, you're, you have purpose, you're there to create art, you're there to nurture, you're there to um, c be compassionate and kindness and protection. All of these things are uh, expressions of divine feminine. But unfortunately with the social structure, uh, the women have to uh, become masculine in order to uh, support uh, the families and, and uh, support the circumstances uh, we have created for ourselves. So we, we are really taking on the masculine 
uh, energies, uh, masculine expressions, uh, instead of uh, being gentle, being nurturing, uh, being kind, being compassionate, uh, because uh, to uh, balance our social structure, we need uh, these expressions uh, guiding the the young generations. But well, when we fail to do that, because we are out there, uh, become providers, we uh, have a hard time creating. So this is the misleading, uh, toxic uh, parts of our social structure. When you understand these healing has to happen. The nurturing has to happen. Uh, if it's not from the mother, it's got to be from a wife or a girlfriend or a friend or somebody has to pick up where you left off uh, because that level of nurturing has to happen for uh, equal masculine and feminine energy to thrive in the normal circumstances. The, what how nature intended for you to uh, thrive um, but taking off something and uh, uh, you put a strong arm uh, the social structure because you're masking uh, everything that needs to heal in our human uh, consciousness we're uh, making a business model out of it so that's not going to benefit in the long run uh, we have to talk about these healings and the personal responsibilities, all of these things, because there is no way, no other way around it. Uh, what we're lacking has to come from somewhere. Uh, instead of putting, doing our part to our best ability uh, in from a healing uh, position or even understanding your level of toxicity, is a road to... Uh, enormous level of self-progression and we are going to uh, be successful because we are addressing our problems uh, little by little and uh, the areas that need to heal as an individual as a family member as a uh, so, uh, somebody in the community when we're adding value to other people that is coming from a place of uh, comfort uh, healing position. Uh, we're not chaotic, causing stress everywhere you go. If you go into a job, you have these horrible managers, co-workers, and, and they are not causing you to be calm and uh, be comfortable enough to create and uh, do what you are meant to do. Uh, instead, your fear, your stress, your anxiety level is high. Uh, immediately, is a toxic environment. So, it is really important for us to be mindful about uh, our own healing uh, because when you do uh, your own uh, work, your personal growth, when you pay attention, you're immediately adding value to everyone around you. Uh, this is what the spiritual growth is all about.